What is going on everybody? Coming back to you guys again with another video. This is gonna be video number six in my little series called Ed Chat. If you guys haven't seen them already, feel free to go check out my previous videos. I love making these and I love uh, getting my thoughts out on camera. So um, here's what I wanna talk about today. Oh, and by the way, I hope you guys are admiring the latest poster I just picked up. Go check out Brian Turner if you guys haven't already. Loyal Team Beyond the Week fanboy, checking in. So the title of this video, what I wanna talk about today. Your diet is not your identity. So there we go, that's my idea. That's what I want you to think about. How much time do you spend talking about your diet to everybody else? How much time do you spend thinking about your diet? Uh, the reason why I'm making this video and on this particular topic is because I had somebody come in today, uh, I was working, and uh, if you guys know anything about cyclists and cycling in general, uh, it's based a lot around your diet, which you take in on a daily basis. There's uh, vegetarian cyclists, there's vegan cyclists, there's cyclists that do nothing but drink beer and eat bread, seriously. And so this particular individual felt like he wanted to talk about his diet and wanted to talk about uh, the fact that he was a, uh, it was a high carb, um, low fat, intermittent fasting uh, type of cyclist. And he had his espresso every single morning and had his um, organic fair trade bananas. He felt like any individual outside of that sort of diet was essentially not living a healthy lifestyle. And so of course I'm at work and it's always best to be professional. I listen, I listen, and I listen, and I listen again. And guys online, I also am the same way. I listen, but at the same time, if someone's wrong, I clearly call them out on it and I'm not afraid to do so. But hearing this individual talk and talk and talk and talk about his diet and how clean it was and how um, how awesome made him feel and how, um, how he was essentially bettering the environment and uh, was better than the ones around him for what he ate on a daily basis. It made me realize how prevalent the whole notion of you are what you eat is among people nowadays. But guys, the reality of it is, believe it or not, you aren't what you eat. You're vegan you're a vegetarian or anybody like that, and you're walking down the street and you see a seven-year-old, eight-year-old eating chicken McNuggets, are you gonna call them a murderer? I've seen so many, so many comments. I've seen so many videos of people literally calling other people horrible human beings, calling people murderers, telling people that they should die because they choose to eat a certain way. I just wanna remind everybody that one's diet is one aspect of their life, not their entire life. We get so sucked into wanting to be put into these boxes. We get we get sucked into these boxes of, oh, I eat clean. Um, I follow a paleo diet. I follow a vegan diet. I follow a vegetarian diet. I follow a plant-based diet. And that's why all these fitness companies, these fitness channels, these health channels, and everything can get to where they are is because um, they feel like they can build their ego, they can build their um, their own self-esteem within them based on what they consume or don't consume on a daily basis. And it's honestly, it's kind of pathetic. An example that comes to mind is any famous actor or a uh, person who's a musician or uh, a famous basketball player, athlete, or anything like that. People know them for being athletes. People know them for uh, the people they inspire on a daily basis. And I know a lot of those people that I'm talking about or referencing um, lead these vegan diets or have vegetarian style diets or some of them follow paleo, some of them follow a lot of different stuff. But people know them for the fact that they're athletes, for the fact that they inspire people, not for the fact that they follow these types of diets. Overall, what really prompted me to make this, uh, this video really was when this individual uh, when I actually started talking a little bit more about um, being more open-minded towards others and um, their ways of eating, he actually had the audacity to tell me that I had no idea because this is a lifestyle. Which, it made me giggle on the spot and I just nodded my head and I said, you know what, that's great. It's not like I live this lifestyle and actually I didn't really even live at all during my lifestyle for the four or five years living in an eating disorder that was constantly surrounded by food, exercise, and trying to fit myself into these perfect boxes of being what I eat. Anyways guys, just a quick little video. I wanted to put this out there for everybody. Do me a favor, if you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. All the links will be up there. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, you guys know the drill. And do me a favor, give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And in the comments below, let me know what you want to see next. Let me know what you want me to cover. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.